Well, good morning, everyone. The other day when it was quite nasty and snowy out, rainy even at times, I decided it was time to get back at some of my artwork. I haven't been doing any artwork really at all lately, and it's something I used to do quite a bit of when I was younger. And it's certainly something I intended to do more of when I retired, but I seem to be always outside walking or bicycling and hiking, which are obviously things I love to do too, but uh, I also want to do more of my artwork and I certainly hope to do more of that on this channel in the near future. So the other day I got my paints out and uh, decided to do a little watercolor painting. So in thinking about things to paint, I remembered a picture I took a few days before that of a little barn or shed out on one of my walks. And if you've seen my past videos of late, you may have seen this image used in the thumbnail for that uh, video. It's just a little red shed or barn that I saw along my hike along the Cataractway uh, trail the other day. I thought that would be a nice little topic to do for a first painting back uh, since I haven't been painting lately. So anyhow, that's what this video is about. It is my sojourn back into the art world. Okay, here's the pad showing the sketch of the barn here, and then the photograph. As you can see, there's mainly just uh, two main colors showing in the photograph. You've got the blue of the sky, then you've got the reddish color of the barn and the barn behind it, and then some white, but really just the red and blue dominating. There's a narrow band of trees behind the barn. Not going to get too concerned about that right now, but I'm thinking of making the sky a deeper blue to bring the white of the barn roof out even more than it is. It's quite contrasty now with the sky, but I may make it a bit more of a stormy sky in the background. I won't put all of this brush in here. I'm going to put some of this in, these old tree trunks and posts and things, but I'm not going to go crazy to the extent as, as is shown here. I'm not fully certain I'm gonna put this barn in back here, but I may. And anyhow, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wash in the sky because typically you start at the back and go forward with most painting processes. So as I said, I'm gonna put in a darker sky here and it may require a couple washes just to get it to the depth of color that I want. And then I'll gradually move forward and work on the shed. So the first thing I'm going to do is just lay in some clear water over the background area where the sky is going to be. This will just allow for a free flowing of the watercolors to produce a sky-like effect. This makes the paper wet and enables the easier blending of the colors for the sky. Just painting around the uh, drawing here as best I can with this large one inch square brush. I'm not gonna worry about those trees back there because they're darker than the sky. So I'll be able to paint them or indicate them over the sky. have to remember with watercolors too um, when it dries it'll dry quite a bit lighter 
than what you initially see. So you often have to strive for a darker than anticipated wash as the final as compared to what you want in the final result. Anyhow, I think I'll leave that for now and let it dry. Okay, so that sky is mostly dry. So I'm just going to come in now and wash some reddish tones over the cabin. I'm not going to worry about delineating every board at this point. This is just to get a base wash down over the general body of the cabin. I'm going to be using a permanent crimson color that I have on the palette here mixed with a little bit of pyrrole red, maybe a little bit of yellow ochre. I'll just try the reds for now, I think. Just painting in some of these window frame details here. I could have just simply painted this in afterwards with white paint instead of trying to go around all these little pieces of wood. I could also have used masking fluid to lay down and then just simply paint right over it and then remove the masking fluid exposing the little wooden pieces, but I decided to do it this way. I don't have, actually, I don't have masking fluid right now anyhow, so couldn't do that method. I soon realized that the framework in my windows was not properly constructed according to perspective. So I blackened out those areas and painted them in later with a more correct looking perspective. Sometimes you just have to make corrections along the way.
Well, there we are. I think that's all the time I'm going to spend on this little painting. It was a fun exercise and it challenged me a lot again, getting me back into the painting uh, groove. So I hope that's uh, inspired some of you out there. If you have an interest in painting and you haven't been painting for a while, it's fun. It's easy to put too much pressure on yourself and try to do things too exactly sometimes and it's best just to go at it and don't worry about what happens i mean at worst you've lost a page of paper or something and a bit of time but so there we have it the final painting of the little red barn seen the other day on the cataractway trail hope you enjoyed following along in the process of me creating this it's been a while since i've been painting as i mentioned earlier i've been doing occasional small bits of painting here and there but not much at all in a big way so it was good to get back at it again and relearn some of those skills that you do lose if you don't keep using them so i feel better now than i did a couple days ago i feel like i've sort of thrown off some of the rust and uh, could tackle a larger painting again and just one with more um, challenges i guess this one had a fair number of challenges in its own right as you could see with the progression of the painting. Watercolors can be a difficult medium anyhow, but um, once you learn some of the basic skills, it helps you to tame the medium a little bit and enable you to produce some nice uh, outcomes when you start painting in these various mediums. If you haven't tried painting and you're looking for a hobby, I'd encourage you to consider it. It's a fun pastime and you can do it here and there throughout the day you don't have to sit down for huge long periods necessarily you can work small or large you can work indoors and outdoors it's just a fun pastime if you haven't tried it um, and you never know until you try whether you might like something so something to think about anyhow if you do art already then hopefully you've enjoyed following along in this little painting um, and as I said earlier, I hope to do more of this in the future on the channel. I've had that as a topic on the channel since I started it, but I've only managed to do a few bits and pieces of art along the way. So in the near future, I hope to do more of this on the channel. So if any of you are following for that reason in particular, then hopefully you'll be uh, gratified to see that. <laughs> Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this little adventure into the art world and uh, hope to see you in the near future. Catch you later.